In this chapter, we will have look on tail plants rendered with the Reci 3.5 standard material. I'm sharing with you 20 tail scenes, which you can modify as you want. In tail plants part 1, I explain how to use tail tool, and in previous chapter, I explain Reci 3.5 translucency workflow. In scenes, you can check out plants which I created include lighting and shading. But remember that I cannot share with you mega scans textures, so replace missing textures and make sure that you are using correct UV mapping and UV option for your oven textures. For leaves, I'm mostly using standard material. Change IOR value exactly as you need, just remember that IOR variations produce more realistic result. It's nice to see some leaves more shiny, but not all of them. That's the reason why I'm using more than one material for leaves with different IOR, subsurface contribution, roughness values, and translucency color correction as well. Roughness is controlled by scalar RAM node. And as you can see, it allows you to have control over rough, or shiny areas exactly as you need. For main lighting, I'm using physical sun, and as you can see, light's angle and position strongly affects the result. Dome light I'm using as ambient light, and as you can see, I'm not using any HDRI map. Dome light intensity or exposure controls intensity of ambient lighting. This scene contains also X particles for dust or small debris and wind animation as well. In second scene, I am keeping for leaves new standard material and RS material as well. So you can check out differences between these two materials. Third scene contains also custom object. This custom object you can find in custom layer and you can edit it or even replace exactly as you need. Scene 4 is a good example how easily you can replace plant's textures. Huge amount of good textures which you can use for tail plants you can find in default C4D asset library. If I will open C4D Asset Browser and I will go to the Textures folder, here I can find Surfaces. Surfaces contains Tree Bark folder and Leaves folder as well. And as you can see, Maxon provides pretty good assets which you can use for your own models, plants, or renders. So actually you do not need any external sources for texturing or creating your own tail plants. Find textures which you would like to use. As next step, drag and drop textures into the Redshift shader graph. Now you are able to connect C4D textures into the RS standard material. It's simple as that. Remember that you have to use also proper alpha channel in sprite node. So drag and drop leaves texture, which contains alpha channel, into the sprite path field as well. In case that you are using texture set which doesn't contain all textures, such as roughness or translucency texture, are created for your template, which will help you better understand how to create missing textures directly in shader graph. All missing textures I created from main base color. For roughness texture, as usual, I am using Ravno to remap color range of base color. And for translucency texture, I am using color correct node. Again, it's simple and effective method how to create interesting looking backlight effect, color variations, or differences between base color and translucency color. Big advantage of Teo plant tool is that you can create realistic but also fantasy looking plants. And as example, I created for you plant and shader with emissive contribution. 
so you can check it out and change it exactly as you want. C9 I created again just from C4D textures. Strong lighting helps with better visibility of translucency contribution, so it's ideal scene to play with color correct note and better understand how to create good looking translucency texture just from base or diffuse texture. If you are changing textures, remember that different textures contains also different shape. So you have to adjust leaf size, width, length and UV mapping to match textures properly. But once it's done, you can have a lot of fun and as you can see, you can easily create different looking plants or variations just with changing the parameters. Also, you have full control over lighting so you can change lighting exactly as you need. In scene 17 is used camera with bokeh and bloom. Leaf layer allows you to try half leaf thickness, affects translucency effect and thin vault workflow. And as you can see, it produces different looking results. Scene 20 is little bit different than other scenes. And here you can check out how camera attack properties and lighting allows you to create mystical looking atmosphere. In the last example, I will show you where you can find another source of textures for your plants. Go to the Insidio menu, Teo section, and here you can find Preset Browser. Choose Preset which contains textures which you would like to use. As you can see, it creates Teo plant object and its materials with textures as well. But remember that these materials are standard C4D materials. And that's the reason why as next step you have to convert these materials into the Redshift materials. And if I will select converted material now, as you can see, I have access to Teo textures. As next step, copy and paste available textures into the shader graph of materials which I prepared for you and connect properly the textures into the standard material or sprite shader as I explained already in previous chapters. Hopefully you will have a lot of fun with all scenes which I prepared for you and in the next chapter we will have a look on RS 3.5 standard material sheen component.